Today in the closet, I'm here with Sally Shanks, who's also a director in the formery, and one of the most interesting dresses I know. Mm. What inspires you? Like, what, what informs you when you're getting dressed? I guess for me, it's quite a natural process. Um, maybe if I go back to the beginning, my mother was an extraordinary dresser. She made all her own clothes out of fabulous odd bits of fabric. She even made her own bikinis, you know, and matching bikinis for me and everything homemade. Um, and so I'd watched her sewing all my life growing up and just using the most extraordinary combinations of fabric. And that's what I really loved. But I didn't realise it then. I just thought it was slightly boring. And then when I went to boarding school, my mother made me a dress to wear in the weekends at boarding school. And it was made of the same fabric as the curtains and <laughs> common room. So I hated, you know, the whole thing I hated even more. Um, because it, it, and back then it was just naff to have your mother. It's a bit sound of music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I wish I'd been able to appreciate it um, then. But I think it it's must have stayed with me because I've always had a huge love of fabric and a huge love of colour. Um, and putting colours together and I think that's why my wardrobe I find it really easy to dress mm. um, I find it easy to put things together that possibly most people wouldn't put together mm. um, I like using different textures um, different patterns going together I like I like I guess it's a, I'm a bit of a show off I kind of like that making people notice yeah, well um, today you're an emerald, this amazing emerald yeah. colour, brick, e brick and blue, blue. and um, really different textures. Yes, and I, I, I hardly wear any jewellery um, either because I like my clothes to be on their own. Yeah. I've just realised that lately actually, because remember the pets I used to wear, I mean big jeans. You used to wear hats, really big earrings. Big earrings. But now I just, I, I find them really distracting and I really like my clothes. I'm absolutely passionate about my clothes. I've had every single article in my wardrobe for years and years and years and years. And even though they may be made of fabrics that are odd, like feathers and tapestries, and, and you mix them all together, they're all classical in shape. Right. Which I think is key. So every article I've got is a classic that can be worn forever. Yeah. And I never buy new clothes, ever. And at the moment, I am um, going through my wardrobe bit by bit and getting all my old stuff revamped. But restyled. Restyled. Okay. Yeah. With a tailor or with a with this, I've trip. just found this wonderful sewer who's um, upstairs above the Dome Cinema. She's got an office there and she's really into velvets and things like that, which I am too. I love velvet. And she's um, a great seamstress, seamstress, and um, so it's a bit by bit. I'm taking all my clothes up and I'm just adding a little bit to each of them to make them into new clothes. Or my some of my really old velvet dresses that I've had forever. I've got little holes in them and fixing them all because uh, I cannot find any clothes I like. Right. These so do you, do you shop very often? No. Right. I will, I I try and I get really frustrated because nothing suits me. I find it really dull. Um, the only place I, places I really shop is second hand sh clothing shops. Mm. But even that's difficult now because people, they're so popular. You know, back in the day they weren't. Mm. But now also they are. the quality, like and the second quality, hand stores yeah. complain to us that because there's so much fast fashion now, mm. cheap fabrics, you know, low production quality, mm. isn't it? The choices just aren't there. Yeah. 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 So, um, that's, yeah, so that's that's kind of why I think it works for me. Um, at the moment I'm working really hard with the cinema and I'm doing a lot of cleaning and going to the dump and things like that, so it's hard to wear fabulous feathers and tapestries all the when time. When you're going to the dump? Yeah, so uh, normally I would just wear um, old jeans and an old jersey during the day because it, it's just not feasible <laughs> to be wearing your, your gorgeous stuff at the dump. And, you know, cleaning alcohol and stuff like that. So, um, and I try and get dressed up in different outfits for the dome. 
um, at night, so I looked kind of like a, a madam, the madam of the day. Um, and so I'm always trying to think of what I can do to look better. And the staff I have, I had them made a uniform, but it's um, their velvet, black velvet little dresses, um, no sleeves, just a v-neck, and then I had these neckties made out of old lace and um, things like that, so um, they all look really fabulous as well. It's just fiddling with things, I love to just fiddle. So when you purchase something, is it spare of the moment that you see something I have to have it or are you just really not shop? Um, I try to shop because I love shopping. It's a bit hard shopping in Gisborne because there aren't very many shops, but if I go away, say to Wellington. I love to shop, but recently, but I never go in with anything in mind. I never go to a city with a list of what I want. Um, it's just a spare of the moment thing, definitely. But, but lately, I just, well for a long time, I just can't, it, it leaves me cold. Mm. Mm. Um, I think too, once you, um, once you have a wardrobe mm. clothes, it is like, what do we need more for? Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, so recently, you know, I moved house recently, so I had to cut a lot of things back because my new house is way smaller. And um, and I did realise that I had enough clothes to last, but I didn't need to buy more clothes. Mm. And anyway, if I did buy clothes, I'd still just wear the old ones. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because people tend to wear just a section of yeah. their wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah. And wear your whole wardrobe no, all the time. No. Yeah. So I've got my few favourites um, that I definitely wear regularly until they wear out and then I'll get them fixed into something else or use the fabric or... Mm. Yeah. I can't bear to throw them away and not the old, beautiful old ones. So yeah. if, if, um, if you get a hole in something, mm. you would repair it? I, well, I, I take it to the little, little, she's not little, she's far from little, she's a lovely lady upstairs and she's, she hand sews over each hole. These exquisite, it sounds a bit, bit mad, but it's not, um, little flowers, mm. but in the same colour as the fabric, so they a detail you don't really notice, but then you look and they're, and they're kind of in random places, mm. so it's pretty cool. Um, that visible mending. Yeah, visible yeah, mending. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. So, um, <clears throat> um, I've just, as I said, I've just found her, so I've started taking um, old curtains to her to make into dresses. Oh, or you've turned into your mother. I have, I've turned into my mother. <laughs> so, yeah, it's crazy, but I do love it. And it's cheaper, way cheaper. Mm. And more interesting more than interesting. what you can buy. Mm. But I do, I do admit, I do have a flair for just putting things on that work together because they don't work together. Mm. Mm. And I do it quite naturally. I don't actually think about it. Mm. Mm. I always remember going to a conference with Sally and um, it was in the States and we stuck out mm. so badly. Because, so goodly. So goodly. <laughs> so goodly. Because everyone else was in pantsuits mm. and there was you and I. Yeah. <laughs> Rocking it. Yeah. And um, we got some, yeah. People just didn't understand us at all. Mm. Well, they thought we weren't serious, I think. Mm. Um, they thought we'd come to the wrong conference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and my daughter Lily, she's picked up that passion as well. Um, she's a great dresser, really unusual dresser. Um, <clears throat> and we value each other's opinions um, a lot. But she's got the same aesthetic. Mm. There is, yeah, there's a whole different way of dressing that doesn't involve having the latest thing and mm. you know, wearing something from a high street mm. and looking like everybody else. I, see, I think that is, uh, the labels don't mean anything to me. I've never even thought about a label. It's, it's if I like it, it's great. Mm. If I like it and it's a label, fine. But <clears throat> I don't hunt for labels, that's for sure. Mm. 
I think our next interview has to be actually inside your wardrobe. I would love that because my wardrobe is like a little ch um, ship's cabin and all my clothes are on visible. They're hung in a way that you can see each item because I love them so much. That reminds me of Sarah Just Jessica Parker from Sex and the City and she says, I like to keep my money where I can see it yes. in my wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just, it's, they're almost like little bits of art, works of art. Yeah, mm. nice. Uh, yeah.